Splendid view, right? As promised, I owe you a lot of explanation. No, I wasn't expecting to meet you. My order was to oversee our deal with the Fraxidus. You were just a pawn in my plan to find where Lorong kept the puppets. Around that time, Dollmaker caught wind of your special abilities. He asked me to bring you to that safe house. <laughs> oh, really? I even upped the voltage for the best effect. Was that just a zap to you? No wonder our Dollmaker took so much interest in that body of yours. Unfortunately, no. He tried, but couldn't gain access. According to him, you possess a power beyond his understanding that prevented him from prying into your mind. You might be more special than you had thought. Said he couldn't read your mind without risking his own sanity, let alone retrieve any information. I can't imagine what the hell is going on beneath your skull. Who knows? Maybe you helped some strangers again only to mess with the wrong person and ended up with your memories gone. I say you should stop playing hero and take better care of yourself. You'll live longer that way. Don't think I need to, since you can handle yourself just fine. But if you ever need my help, just let me know. We have a lot in common. Both alone in this world. Maybe I'll keep you in my thoughts. A reminder that I'm not the only solitary soul out there. And eventually, we'll both learn to move through our lives with loneliness. Perhaps the same loneliness was too much for Dollmaker to bear. That's why he gave up everything to resurrect my parents. Yes. After my parents' death, we all became chess pieces to him, myself included. Raised me to be a patroller for his own agenda. He needed a mole in the Public Security Bureau. In the end, I did become a patroller, but failed to stay by his side as he desired. Maybe I'm indeed a heart-wrenching betrayer to him. Yes. We all have to face the consequences of our actions. I don't plan to defend him. But if I had acted sooner, this whole mess could have been avoided. Why didn't I do something? Perhaps, like everyone else in the Seance Society, I too held on to that naive pipe dream. The dream of finally meeting my parents and having a real family. I indulged in it more than I care to admit. Deep down, I knew my dream was built upon the sacrifices of innocent lives, but I couldn't bear to shatter it. <laughs> because I met you, a total outsider, risking his life for me and for all those people. A lot of it still remains unresolved. Dollmaker was merely a cog in the wheel. A bigger shadow lingers. Yes. We must stay vigilant until we expose the true culprits and destroy their plans for good. Don't tell me you're pulling out at this point. If you are, I may have to wipe my true identity from your head by force. a joke. Anyway, I should thank you. Because of you, I was able to accomplish far more 
and save many more lives than I imagined. You feel different. I have the feeling I can always trust your words, whatever you say. <laughs> well, take a guess. Oh, and lastly, there is another thing I should thank you for. For trusting me all the way till the very end. Until we meet again, Rover. Perhaps I'll meet you under an entirely different identity next time. <laughs>